We got Pikachu and Eevee and oh, look over there! It's Micro Jig, maker of the Gripper. Work safer. Work smarter. Recently, I've been getting into the brutalist style of architecture and design, and I'm really fascinated by the stark use of materials in utilitarian shapes. And I've tried to reflect that in this week's art and design project. This lamp features a natural color concrete base, a single bent board, and exposed hardware and electrical components. One of the best woods for bending is oak. In order to cut this into thin strips, I'm gonna hot glue it to this board. That'll help me keep my fingers safely away from the blade. So that'll give me three boards, each a little less than a quarter inch or five millimeters thick. I should be able to remove this last piece with a heat gun. I've got this old snow sled that I put water in and then I'll just soak these for a few hours. I'm gonna make the form for the concrete using white melamine board. I'm cutting two different thicknesses of dowels to create the mounting hole in the concrete. After drilling a hole in the thicker one, I'll hot glue these together. And I'll drill a hole in the center of the form base. I'll mix up the concrete. I'm gonna spray some cooking spray onto that wooden post. Hopefully the concrete won't stick to it as much. let this dry out here. I'm gonna modify my pipe clamps a little bit by adding on some blocks. It'll give me more surface area. A little bit of hot glue will hold these into place. Okay, let's see if I can force this into place. There's a hundred different ways of doing this, but I did a test with this method and it seemed to work. Mostly I just want to be careful it doesn't snap into my face. When this dries, it's gonna spring back a little bit, so I'm gonna to try to curve it more than halfway. It's a little scary. In the past, I found that if the wood's gonna break, you'll start to hear it crack a little bit first, so I should have some warning. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna do one more for insurance. It's scary. Well, it hasn't been a full 24 hours, but I'm impatient and I think it's dry enough to remove the form. I'm gonna blow the excess dust off the concrete and seal it with lacquer. I'm gonna use one of these clamp-on work lights for the socket. I found it's a lot cheaper than buying all the pieces separately, and it was even cheaper to buy one of these than to buy a lamp at the second-hand store. I'm not really crazy about the plastic look of the socket, so I'll spray paint it. One of these pipe straps will hold the socket in place.
This is an LED bulb that's meant to look like a vintage light bulb. Yeah, I'll put some felt pads underneath the concrete. A while back, I made this stand for my Harry's razor using a technique called bent lamination. Even with its lacquer finish, I find that it needs freshening up every year. It's a simple refinishing job, and it only takes a few minutes. It seems kind of hard to believe, but I've been getting a close, comfortable shave with Harry's every day for almost two years now. I love the partnership I have with Harry's because they consistently sell great products for men at incredible prices. And hey, if you got in on the ground floor of Harry's back in 2014, congratulations. You've probably saved over $300 by now. Think about that. What one tool would you buy with an extra $300 in your pocket? The starter set is an amazing deal. For $15, you get a razor, moisturizing shave cream, and three razor blades. Plus, Harry's will give you five dollars off your first order by clicking on the link down in the description and using the coupon code woodworking at checkout. Well, the razor stand turned out great, all ready for its third year of use. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's art and design project. I'm very pleased with the way this turned out and I'll be exploring brutalism more in future projects. I like that the materials are cold and harsh, but overall the piece feels elegant. I like that sense of uncertainty. And I suspect this is a style that you either love or you hate. Leave a respectful comment down below and I'd love to hear what you think. Either way, I hope you were able to pick up some techniques that maybe you could use in some of your own projects. Oh, by the way, did you notice the new t-shirts they seem to be a hit these are the winning designs that you voted for over on instagram and facebook and they're available exclusively at my new limited edition store check them out you can click on this card or click on the link down in the description thanks for watching everybody i'll see you next week here's an easy project it's a great way to use up some scrap wood in your shop and practice some bent lamination. These make great gift projects and I have a feeling they would sell really well at a craft fair.